Hello and welcome along. Uh, today we've got something a little bit special. This is the first trailer for the Anderson Group DLC that's coming out on the 26th of March. Um, we're going to play through the trailer quickly. I've replaced the audio because uh, obviously uh, the audio that comes on the trailer is copyrighted. Uh, but uh, I've added, I've supplanted a new piece of audio instead. Otherwise the trailer is the same. As the one being released for, released by Giants. So uh, let's take a look. That is the first look that we have of the Anderson Group DLC in-game and how it works and how it looks. Uh, let's go back through the trailer now a bit by bit and have a bit of a closer look. And the trailer, of course, opens with the giant software logo, the Focus Home Interactive logo and Farming Simulator 19. And then here is our first shot of a piece of equipment from that DLC. This is the logging trailer that's available. Uh, you can see this is this is on Felsbrunn. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's a vlogging trailer at the moment. Um, but hopefully we'll get a closer look at this later on. But yeah, certainly looks like a good little logging trailer at the moment. Then next up, we've got the Anderson Smart Mix A950. Uh, this is a fairly large looking uh, animal feed trailer, uh, animal mix wagon. Good to see some more options with the mix wagons in. Um, mix wagons, we only have one option uh, maybe two in the game at the moment, and uh, they're not they're not massive. So uh, good to see a nice big uh, feed mix uh, feed mix wagon coming into the game with Anderson here. Then we have uh, the Anderson. Uh, this is the straw. Uh, this is the little straw shredder. Uh, it's a round bale one, which uh, again something we don't have at the start of the game. Don't have as standard. Um, other than the um, the ones that fit on the front loaders. So uh, good to see a trailed one of those in game as well. Uh, and uh, again, not something that we already have, but in a different way. So nice, nice to see that coming into the game as well. And then here's the big one. This is what I what I think is the jewel in this DLC. The bio baler, the new piece of kit. We'll see this in action a little bit later. But uh, this is the one I'm excited for. This is the one where uh, that makes me want to plant poplars because I want to see how this works. I want to give this a go. Uh, oh, and you very briefly there, before I brought this up, very briefly saw one of the stackers. We'll get back to those in a minute. And this here, this uh, we'll get to see this in action in a minute. But this looks really, really cool. And here, in fact, here it is. This is uh, one of the hybrid extractors. This is the round baler one. And what this does is really quite cool. So as you can see here, you're feeding in bales from one end of this. And it's, and it's wrapping them and putting them out the other. Until, so there you go. See, it's wrapping it as, as it comes through until... It moves forward and just puts out this huge long tube of uh, wrapped bales, which is 
absolutely fantastic. I I really love that. Um, something very very different to the game. Something that we've not seen before. Uh, looking forward to trying this out as well. Um, what a really really interesting piece of kit. I'm I'm also intrigued as to what you do with these because it looks like it's one long tube of bales that this creates. So I'm I'm wondering how you extract bales from it and uh, and what happens with them. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to use this, I think. And then here we have the square bale version of it as well. So you can see it's uh, we've got the square bales. And you can see actually the individual bales in it are not... It's not just one model. It is... There is definitely a separate bale in there for each one. And and they're sort of a little bit jumbled and a little bit of different heights depending on how it's how it's landed on here. So yeah, it's it's I'm really looking to see forward to seeing more detail of these. They're quite they're quite a different bit of kit, uh, and it would it's gonna make a really, really interesting thing to use. And there we go. And there we go, the hybrid extractor. As I said, and again here in the in the line, you can see the the long and uh, and very very sort of hickledy pickledy um, setting uh, set up to this. Uh, really, really interesting. And there's the uh, smart mix again, uh, getting filled. Uh, nice. It does. I I don't know how big this is, but uh, so I know people have been call, calling it calling out. For a larger feed mixer, so yeah, this this should meet a lot of people's needs, I think. And there we go, the Smart Mix A950 coming up to the cows, and here it is. So here is the bio baler taking on the uh, taking on the poplars. Wow, that is just so cool. Yeah, the WB55. And uh, yeah, it works as a baler, um, <laughs> it being called a baler. And uh, and yeah, it just runs up the sides. And there we go. And there is the new type of bale that is in the game, the uh, the uh, poplar bale or the uh, the the wood bale. So nice to see, nice to see a DLC add a new piece of functionality to the game. You know, we, we've we not had this type of bale before. Uh, and it's not often a DLC adds this kind of thing. So, yeah, really excited to see that. Uh, and there we go. The minor two loading into the uh, the blower. Which is the ProChip 150. Uh, and, uh, yeah, really useful little bit of kit for if you're, if you're not using a... Um, a front loader or don't want to use one of the uh, the front loader mounted um, ones of these and and you don't want to use the big square baler one um, this uh, this pro chip 150 a uh, pro chop 150 sorry that will do the trick for you perfectly and then right so I'm gonna play this in a moment I love these bale stackers the animation on these is absolutely brilliant and it's just such a such a wonderful fluid motion, and I I really love this. These these stack pros are a thing of beauty, and I can't wait to try them out. Um, they're just yeah, that's just absolutely wonderful. So that of course is the seven two hundred. Uh, sorry, it's seven yeah seven two hundred. And this then is the round bale. Um, this is the silage bale stacker. So we've not had one of these before, and and I'm really pleased and excited to see this in game because this is a much more realistic way of stacking silage bales um and it and it's just great to see this in uh, one of the things i didn't like about the uh the bale stackers we have so far is you can stack silage bales with them but you wouldn't stack silage bales with that kind of bale stacker in real life this is a realistic silage bale stacker absolutely brilliant and again look at the animation and it stacks them in threes so this is the rbm pro 2000 and yeah i'm really intrigued to see how this one thing this trailer doesn't show that i really really want to see 
how does this un how does this unload these bales? Are these bales uh unloaded like this in a line, or does it try and create a stack of them? I'm I'm really intrigued and it but it looks brilliant. Uh so yeah, this is this is another piece of kit I'm really excited for in this DLC. Uh there is our logging trailer again. I think yeah, there we go. The M160, I think this is. Yes, there we go. Um, so, yeah, it looks like it functions very much like the other logging trailers that we've seen in game. Just trying to get... Yeah, there we go. Better shot of it there. Um, looks like the... Uh, it's not seated. Um, you, the, the character stands on it is the biggest change from the logging trailer we have in game at the moment. Uh, doesn't seem any longer or anything like that. Nice to have an option with the logging trailer. Uh, don't think it adds a huge amount other than that. Other than a bit of variety. Um, but you know, nice bit of kit. We'll give it a try. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see how it works. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a nice little thing to have in there. But I, d I don't think this trailer is the highlight of the DLC. Uh, and then we have the uh, other round bale stack up. So this does the same thing as the silage bale one, just for normal bales. And you can see the attachment, the, the, the bit that's picking up the bales is slightly different. Um, it's the a more classic one. Looks like it's got a nicer feed in as well. And see, interesting to see how that works in the game. But again, this one does a triple bale stack. So I prefer this to the one that got released as a uh, as a mod earlier on in the game. Uh, this this looks like a really nice bale stacker. And again, I'm wondering if it's going to actually pile them in threes like this. Because that would be great. That would be a really, really wonderful way for this to unstack the bales. And, uh, and just look wonderful. And then we have the bale wrapper that comes into the game. So this is the RB580. Uh, fairly normal bale wrapper. Uh, I, I don't know if there's something... The shine on this uh, bale wrap looks incredible. And I've not actually wrapped... I don't think I've wrapped bales in uh, FS19 yet. <laughs> at this point. So I'm going to have to wrap bales. If they look this good, if it looks this amazing... Um, I'm going to have to do it and try it out because that just looks incredible. Uh, but the bale wrapper itself looks great. Uh, does everything that we uh, we expect from a bale wrapper in FS19. Um, and uh, looks from it, we've seen uh, different colour bales so far on here. We've seen both the white and the black. So it looks like it has colour choice on the bale wraps as well. Which is, uh, which is brilliant. And uh, yeah. That is pretty much it. And uh, and there we go. So there we are, available from March the 26th. Uh, I am massively looking forward to this DLC. It is uh, it's really good. It's one of the, I think this is one of the best DLCs I've seen for a Farming Simulator game. It, uh, it introduces uh, new stuff and new... Um, uh, and new play styles to the game. It uh, it adds uh, an interesting new set of equipment. It adds a new brand in. Uh, and it's really good value for money. So many pieces of equipment for for its uh, 10 euro and 10 dollar price tag. Um, I cannot wait to get my hands on it and have a try. Um, I hope you like it as well. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see where we go from here. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.